Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube? This is SCL0320. Back at it again for a brand new movie review. I'm reviewing the movie starring Johnny Depp, Transcendence. Um, I'm gonna read a brief synopsis for you so you can get a kind of comprehension of what's going on with it. As Dr. Will Castor works toward his goal of creating an omnipotent sentient machine, a radical anti-technology organization fights to prevent him from establishing a world where computers can transcend the abilities of human brain. Um, I looked at this movie, I just saw it in the IMAX feature uh, visuals, or, oh gosh, it's just, I'll just go ahead and dive into it. So first off the gate, visually and the, the, the score and the sound in and of itself, it was so amazing to actually watch and see. Um, there are certain points where you see, um, in the beginning it kind of picks up really slow because you got just ideas that are being thrown around like Will's perspective or Johnny Depp's character, uh, his perspective on AI, artificial intelligence and the conception of how things can be or what can create just really interesting how everything gets skewed in the line. But, when you actually start seeing things actually start to happen as far as when you got the anti-terrorist group that are setting up certain terrorist cells to try to wipe out certain um, computer researchers intentionally like it's really interesting to see it's really practical effects explosions are really cool and how they do things as far as scene to scene is actually really noticeable and catching to the eye but at a certain point when you start seeing certain technology that actually goes and takes place when you got nanotechnology in its infancy and now being it is amplified how it's supposed to be in the future oh, it's just amazing to see because you got things that are being uh, grown things that are being like brought together from just a physical manifestation of when things like basically you got like a nano machine this like microscopic you can't even see it but then you have something being repaired such as like um what uh, energy saver machine or even um, a solar panel is being just automatically just created. Uh, the visual effects are stunning. It, it's very well done. I'm not sure who the effects team is, but they did a great job with it. Now, when I thought about like the music and stuff like that, I thought it, it fit the scene. Scene for scene, everything was just really uh, eloquently done. Um, it was a really subtle touch with it, but the cinematography and how they actually shot every person. With the subtle scenes where you see Johnny Depp towards the end, where you see uh, the main character, girl Evelyn, um, when you see um, different characters, um, it's, it's, it's a very fine set of how they did the cinematography because every person is brought into the fold in a certain kind of way, but when they're interacting with these different kind of technologies and when you see things start manifesting, uh, it's really epic visuals, especially certain dreams that Evelyn is having, uh, is really amazing to see. Um, <laughs> I, I can't express it enough, but visual effects I thought were really well done. I didn't see anything that seemed really cheesy, even though there was certain points where they were interacting with water, with nanotechnology in it. And when you see the scenes, like you, you're gonna be like, what? <laughs> I promise you, you, you're gonna be like, what is going on? Um, so highly recommend that, um, I'll probably give that maybe a 10 out of 10 or maybe a nine out of 10 for the visual effects and the score. Um, but getting down to what's the most important thing to me from a movie like this is such an obscure um, storyline um, is the story, uh, characters um, and how the actors portrayed them. So of course you got Johnny Depp playing Will Caster and he's such an intellectual uh, that he has in his mind how the world should be or how the world's going to go and how things are going to be um, evolved just from themselves on a technological standpoint from where you got the internet from where you got technology where we build things and then from where artificial intelligence is going to just cut the middleman out of the way and just reinforce something brand new. So uh, I think that Johnny Depp, I, I haven't seen him play something so serious like this since maybe Finding Neverland or shoot, what else, man. Back in the day, he used to play some very serious roles. I mean, I know Public Enemies was a very serious role. Uh, of course, um, he's played other things like, of course, Dark Shadows, he's played, 
Jack Sparrow, he's played all these different kind of serious characters, like even Edward Sears hands that that are not really all that serious in, in the fold. Um, but I mean, of course, it shows his range. But this one, this is, this is a down to earth technological um, scientist, computer scientist that has a vision for how technology is going to go. And I mean, from the point when you actually see him um, merge with the AI and become his own sentient being, um, it's really well done because how they are doing it, they're taking like different clips and blips from um, Johnny Depp's vocal patterns or of course they would have Johnny Depp saying different things and then merge them into two so it seems like it's actually a computer and I mean there wasn't any point that I thought that wow this is this is not this doesn't seem practical I mean everything seemed pretty practical it just seems obscure to even try to do it the implications of actually doing these things to a person or even trying to create uh, AI out of something like this this is crazy um, so uh, I thought even funnier thing was that if any of y'all know or not, but um, Paul um, Bettini, he played the character of Max, and Max is a specialist when it comes to neurology or the human psyche or um, what would it be like to actually transfer a person's consciousness to another uh, location or maybe transfer consciousness to data. What would that look like? What's the implications behind that? And um, he experted in that, but then he also saw things as a threat and I thought, thought it was so funny is because that Paul plays the voice of Jarvis. Jarvis as in Iron Man's Jarvis and then now he's going to be Vision in um, the brand new uh, Avengers movie which is even more crazier but the fact that he would play <laughs> the most human person in this and actually specialize in human uh, neurology I thought that was really interesting but he plays his role very well because his role is very tight with uh, Will and he's really tight with Evelyn in the beginning but by the end of it you just see him evolving to something else and it's funny because the beginning starts at the end technically um, but by the end of it, you see how he gets to this place and the things he has to go through, it's just crazy. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Uh, it, even like every person goes through kind of an evolution. Um, I think that characters like Morgan Freeman's character, uh, Joseph, and I think, what was Agent Buckman's um, character? Um, oh, yeah, 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 the guy from 28 Days Later. Um, what's his name? Cillian Murphy. Um, of course, you've seen him as Scarecrow in The Dark Knight, uh, and of course, Batman Begins, and then uh, The Dark Knight Rises, but um, he plays an interesting role as the agent of the story from the FBI unit that's trying to figure out what's going on and why, these why this terrorist cell is trying to take out all these actual researchers, but then you got Morgan Freeman's character that's actually a researcher that lives through an attack, and he brings a whole nother medium to it because he's the buffer between, in my opinion, um, Paul's character and the character named Evelyn, which I'll go into now. Um, and I mean, what was Evelyn's real name? What's her character? Name? What's her person's name? Uh, it's Rebecca Hall. Uh, Rebecca Hall does a great job with Evelyn. To me, I thought that she... She was so conflicted because at a certain point, uh, which I'm going to talk about the story later, Johnny Depp's character has to transfer his human consciousness into the AI. And because of that, like, she's trying to keep him alive as much as possible. And I, I've seen Rebecca Hall play in something else. It was The Town. It was The Town. I just saw her play in The Town. Um, I really enjoyed her character in that. It was another movie. Uh, I know she played in The Prestige, but it was another movie. Oh, yeah, she was in Iron Man as well. But I thought she played a very good role because she was like Johnny Depp's yang to um, Paul's yang. Um, and in that, I mean, she's in the middle of both crosshairs. She sees that this is bringing her husband, or this is keeping her husband alive because something does happen. And then at the same time, she sees the danger as in what the AI would actually do. Um, and I thought she did a great job. I thought all around, I thought everybody's role was very well done as far as their um, development and then also like how their acting ability is. I thought that the, probably the weakest, because they didn't have that much to work with, was probably um, Cillian Murphy and Morgan Freeman's um, characters because there wasn't much to work with but I mean I thought it was really good I thought every person I mean it was even surprise characters that I've seen in a lot of Christopher Nolan's movies in this one 
Um, but it was, it was really good. It was really good as far as their acting. So I'll probably give the acting maybe an 8 out of 10. I enjoyed the acting in this one. It was really well done. Um, and then the story. The story, oh my gosh, y'all. I mean, from the beginning, when you're talking about, like I said, Will, he's going to a normal research facility and talking and having a speech. And at the same time this is happening, the terrorist cell, they start wiping out all the computer researchers. And when they start wiping them out, you're like, what is going on? What are they so afraid of? And then you get a grasp of when Johnny Depp was asked a question. So you're trying to create something that's like a God. You're trying to create your own God um, and let it evolve. And he, Johnny Depp's character, and when he said it, he's like, well, isn't that what man's supposed to do? And you see that there's something off. He doesn't see the implications or the dangers of his research. And... It's just crazy because you got the anti-terrorist group that's trying to stop the people, but they're extremists. I mean, it's not like they're like, okay, I see the dangers in this. You need to stop. Please do this. They're like, they'll do anything it takes so that the world don't go to this route. And then you got Johnny Depp's character is so humble and meek, and at the same time, he wants to help, but he doesn't see the dangers of what he's going to be. And then when he becomes the AI, oh my gosh, it's just crazy because... This is the first time I've ever seen. I mean, you can take examples such as um, our robot. You can take examples such as the day the Earth is still, uh, the Matrix. And when you're talking about like what technology can, can evolve into or what uh, AI in and of itself can cause as a danger to everyone, um, this takes it to a different level because it's not just, it's not a robot in this movie. There's not any robots in this movie. I'll, I'll, that's my spoiler for you. Um, there are what's called hybrids and there are what is called AI artificial intelligence that is Johnny Depp's character. And then there are nanotechnology that by far, I've never seen anything like that done. Uh, I mean, I've thought of the implications of nanotechnology being able to regenerate um, organic material, being able to uh, resurface and recreate metals. I've seen even certain research patterns are saying that, well, it's possible that maybe even help cure or utilize stem cell research to be able to regenerate organisms or, or, or not organisms, but organs or limbs. And like, that's the future. I mean, that's what they've, they've talked about. That's where uh, nanotechnology can even go so far as to uh, repair certain levels of the brain, but they haven't I mean the implications behind they don't know like you know But this movie goes there on a deeper level so I can see where certain people I've seen certain reviews where people are like wow This is really awesome, and I see certain like I don't get this science. I don't understand what's going on and what I didn't see was that what they do with the the nanites or they you how they utilize the nanotechnology by the end of it and you start seeing certain things. I know y'all seen the preview where you see certain metals coming up into the air. How they actually do that and what happens with the nanotechnology is like by far the most amazing thought process that I think I've ever seen actually in a movie. Uh, Cause it was like, man, this is keeping me riveted. I really like this. And then by the end of it, you're like, wow. Like this is what they had to do, you know? And I'm not going to spoil anything. I think you need to just go and check out the movie for yourself, but go into it knowing that you're dealing with certain levels of uh, modified sciences and different theological perspectives of how technology can go and then the uses of nanotechnology and how it can actually restore and at the same time create matter in and of itself. And this is not just on organic material or metal material, but also um, like water, such as such as water. But anyway, um, I appreciate the science of it because I'm a geek like that. Um, but in and of itself, the the purity of this movie to me, it really falls in the line of the relationship of Will and Evelyn, uh, Johnny and um, Rebecca's character. It all falls back to them because Rebecca has always been the person that wanted to actually change the world and make it a better place and. Johnny has always been just the simplistic one of just wanting to create something that just creates itself, you know? And, I mean, he does that. <laughs> and so, he just didn't know he was going to become that. And by the end of it, you, you see both of the characters make a amazing, interesting turn. Um, but yeah, I, I really appreciate it. There are no, uh, there's nothing after the credits, so you can 
not have to wait to have the credits for this one. Um, but I really enjoyed the ride. I really enjoyed the story. I, I really enjoyed um, the science behind it, the 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 knowledge base behind it. Because it wants it propels me wanting to actually go and research even more. Um, even if I know this is not something that's necessarily factual right now, as far as I know. <laughs> um, but I mean, it was really interesting. It, it all was very interesting, very intriguing. Um, I thought Johnny played a really serious role, which he hadn't done in a long time. I still really am rooting for Johnny to actually maybe be Doctor Strange, highly. Uh, I just heard some interesting news uh, about uh, Marvel Cinemas and uh, how they're going about doing stuff now and it's gonna be crazy. I'll talk about it later. It, one word though is the Hulk and how that's gonna play a role into um, the Avengers 3 and if any of y'all have heard of Planet Hulk or World War Hulk, you understand what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's, that's beside the point. I give Transcendence, I guess the story, I'll give that maybe a 7 out of 10. And so, I guess all around, I'd probably give it a 7.5, maybe even an 8. And uh, I really enjoyed this. I, when it comes out on Blu-ray DVD, I'd like to see um, how they did the research behind everything and how factual all the technology is and where we are as far as the progression of the human race. Because um, just from the special features, that's what I would be intrigued of getting the movie for. And so, I highly recommend going to see Transcendence. Anybody that's saying yay or nay, I mean, just go see it for yourself, you know. Anyway, this is SEL0320. Later, everybody. Enjoy the movie. Enjoy your night. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your day. Peace. <laughs> oh. oh. Burnt my hand. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, and um, yeah, um, ah, 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 ah. transcended. I'm just playing. <laughs> um, but yeah, the lighting's kind of messed up right now, so sorry about that. Yeah, why am I talking about this? This is gonna be a blooper. And enjoy the review if you like the reviews that I do. <laughs>